hit the notification for all future videos. Alright, this whole video is air needed. New, no, because I just recently added this in here. Um, it's a cheap pub. I need to get a stiller on there. I've got a bunch of uh, air stones I can put on there. That's too much air. But is it needed? Um, mm, it's kind of a tricky question, really. You know, when you got a hang on the back filter like that, which I normally never ever do. Y'all know me, I'm sponge filters, and they provide air. Um, is it needed? Well, we're going to visit another tank upstairs. These are kind of the. I don't know, purple kind of Moscow's, blue Moscow's, whatever they are. Alright, we're going to go visit that, and then we'll see. Alright. Here we go. 29 gallon tank. Java moth at the yin yang. There's a hang on the back filter, and a hang on the back. There is no air in here whatsoever. None. And why are they all laying there, Scott? Because they're tired. Let's turn the light on. Hey, Donut. What you doing? What are you doing? What is that? Penny holes. I turned, uh red over top, I guess. Mm, carbon in there. And then you can see the oyster shell. There's some MTS's in there. But, um, nah, there's no filtration whatsoever in this tank. None. There's the Amazon sword. It's kind of floating above, not even planted. Yeah, it's been doing good for about eight or nine years, roughly. All right, I don't want to disturb all the fish, but there's no air floating this 29. None. Okay. But if you want job moths, I'll be selling it pretty soon. I'm gonna turn off this lights on and stir them all. So is airflow needed? Eh, probably not. Later. <clears throat> so to wrap it up, <clears throat> airflow is needed probably when you don't have a lot of plants. Where you going, donut? Um I've got to fix this filter. Remember I had a crash here about, I don't know, 10 weeks ago or whatever it was. Um, there's not a lot of airflow. We need a lot of airflow in here, especially because when you're dealing with um, bristle noses, a lot of waste. Okay? I've got to correct this tonight. Um... What are you doing, don't? Oh, you so silly. You such a good looking boy. Um, that's doing a lot better. So, most of my tanks, although that has to be rinsed out, googly moogly, that's dirty. Um, pantyhose, like always. Uh, carbon in there, I believe. But yeah, we're gonna have to do something. I don't need another die off on, uh, you know, these guys. Yeah, good looking guys. Still breeding pretty freaking true. Alright, y'all hang on. I'll feed you. I'll feed you. Googly, mugly. Um. Still not sure what's going on in here. Trying to get these guys going. But anyway, tons of plants. But there's air flow there. Airflow there. Uh oh. Uh oh. We lose one. 
Oh, crap. Yeah. I think we lost one, people. Oh, no. Okay. That tells me we had to do a change in there. Although I don't believe it had anything to do with that. Huh. Okay. What are you doing, Donut? You checking everything out? What? Didn't that scare you? Googly, moogly. But anyway, um... I got some decent airflow elsewhere, but hey, what you doing, buddy? So I don't know. I I think uh, they tend to do a lot better with airflow, honestly, than without. Okay, simple as that. But there, right, got some work to do here. Hmm. Yeah, that's part of fish keeping, people. Every once in a blue moon, you'll... Something goes wrong. And I don't know where the tube is on there. It's supposed to be a tube. But, we do have fry. We do have fry. As long as these... Alright. But anyway, is airflow 100% important? I think so, honestly. I probably looked out by not doing it, you know, more often than not. So, that's probably what you're aiming for, minus the hair algae, you know, and that type of situation. But, anywho, I gotta jump off here and do a water change because I don't know what happened there. Googly, Googly. Huh. Alright, later. Oh, wow. That is my first bristle nose I've ever seen. Look at him. He was just born. Uh, we'll have to cut this tank off. It's doing a water change. Oh, my goodness. I've never seen a bristle nose before. <clears throat> Look at that. That is crazy. Cray cray. Wow. So apparently I have a male and a female in this tank somewhere. Let me cut this off. Here. I'm gonna cut it off here. But look at that. Boy, that's not very old. Alright. It has to be a bristle nose. <clears throat> is the only thing in this tank or guppies snails and uh, one or two bristle noses like that guy right there uh, that's probably a female <clears throat> holy crap there's more than wow there's no caves in here. None. Wow. I'm completely shocked. I guess because all the moths and everything else. There's at least two bristle noses. Oh, that is so cool. Never seen it before. First time ever. All right, baby. That is so freaking cool to me. Maybe not to you all. And look, I don't know, is that still an egg sack attached or something? I don't know. I have no idea. Wow. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Well, there you go, people. Oh, there's a third. One, two, Three. Oh, my. oh, oh, oh. That's going to be a chocolate. That's a chocolate. And maybe these are albinos. <gasps> oh, my goodness. There's another albino. Oh, my goodness. 
You got to be kidding me. That's freaking awesome. That is awesome. And there might be more. I don't know. There's at least four albinos and a chocolate. Wow. Awesome. Later, people.